Welcome to the SAP Business One for SAP HANA. How to connect to your SAP HANA using an ODBC connection from another tool, for example, Microsoft Access. So first, let's uh, um, see that we actually have a model that we would like to use. And in this case, I do have uh, my model here. Uh, it's a net sales. And if I do a preview here, create a preview, you will see that I have here under raw data, some set of data that I would like to share uh, access from, Microsoft, from another tool, for example, Microsoft Access. So let's open Microsoft Access. start a blank database and now let's go to external data and let's use the ODBC connection the generic ODBC connection that will be available for you after we install the SAP HANA client so if I click here on new you will set you have your um, um, view to all the available providers it's a data source, and the first one that shows up here is the B1 CRH Proxy32, which is the Business One Crystal uh, Crystal Reports for HANA uh, ODBC connection. If you scroll a bit down, you will see that we have here the generic SAP HANA ODBC connection, which is named HDB ODBC32. Now, if you click on Next, You'll be able to name that, and uh, let's name this as my ODBC HANA connection. Click on next and finish. And now all you have to do is just to give it the credentials and the location of your HANA server. In this case, it's going to be uh, because I have an alias in my host file. For the IP address, I'm going to use my alias, which is HANA B1, and the port number, which is going to be 315, uh, 3, and then the instance number, which is 00 and 15. Then I'm going to provide my user, which I'm still using here my system. Uh, again, uh, it's not recommended to use the system, it's better to create a new user in order to access your HANA database and the password. Now when you click next, uh, OK, and OK here, the connection was created. And now you're going to be asked again for the password. And let me type it here. And now you'll be able to select which object you would like to actually view here in your uh, database or connect to your uh, in your database and uh, in my case uh, I'm going to go and, uh, and select the view and the model that we just uh, show uh, tested before and all of those models are being deployed under the sys BIC uh, and you can see here this is my net sales that we saw before so I can click here on OK if you want you can even save the import steps but uh, to make your uh, wizard for next time easier. But I'm just going to click close here. And I see that you have a new view into a table. And if I double click on this, uh, you will see that I actually have all the data from the view available here in my Microsoft Access. I hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you.